Prime Years, Soul Growth for Jupiter Nakshatra Borns. Welcome to the Consciousness YouTube channel. In this video, we explore the Mahadasha system of time cycles in Vedic astrology and how each dasha and antadasha fuels and propels a person to move, achieve, embody and accomplish goals, purpose and life lessons embedded in each nakshatra. We'll see how the Mahadasha system brings these experiences to the soul for learning and growth. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments for the video. For individuals born with their moon in Jupiter ruled nakshatras, Punavasu Vishaka, Purva Bhadrapada, the prime years of their life from approximately ages 16 to 59 are influenced significantly by three major Mahadasha periods. Saturn Mahadasha ages 16 to 35, Mercury Mahadasha ages 35 to 52 and Ketu Mahadasha ages 52-59. Understanding the unique characteristics and lessons of these planetary periods provides insights into their personal growth, career development, relationship dynamics and self-actualization journeys. Saturn Mahadasha, ages 16 to 35, key themes, discipline, responsibility, stability and maturity. Saturn Mahadasha is a period marked by discipline, hard work and the development of inner strength. It can bring challenges that test one's resilience and capacity to endure, but it also offers opportunities to build a solid foundation for the future. Traits of Saturn Positive traits Saturn represents discipline, responsibility and perseverance. It encourages hard work, focus and the ability to overcome obstacles. Individuals can develop a strong sense of duty, patience and resilience during this period. Negative traits Saturn's influence can sometimes lead to feelings of restriction, fear or isolation. There may be a tendency toward pessimism, self-doubt or becoming overly focused on limitations rather than possibilities. Positive impacts to embrace. 1. Building stability and security. Saturn encourages the development of a stable and secure foundation in both personal and professional life. This is a time to focus on long-term planning, financial security and establishing strong relationships. 2. Developing inner strength and resilience. The challenges faced during Saturn Mahadasha can help build inner strength and resilience. The native learns to persevere through difficulties and develop a strong sense of self-reliance and determination. 3. Cultivating patience and discipline. This period teaches the value of patience and discipline. The native may achieve success and recognition through sustained effort, careful planning and a disciplined approach to their goals. Negative impacts to be aware of. 1. Avoiding fear and self-doubt. Saturn's influence can sometimes lead to feelings of fear, self-doubt or inadequacy. The native should focus on building confidence and self-esteem, recognizing their strengths and abilities. 2. Balancing work and personal life. There is a risk of becoming overly focused on work or responsibilities, neglecting personal relationships or self-care. It's important to maintain a healthy work-life balance and nurture personal connections. 3. Overcoming isolation and loneliness. Saturn's restrictive nature can lead to feelings of isolation or loneliness. The native should actively seek social support, engage in community activities and maintain strong connections with loved ones. Focus areas for growth and learning. Career. Focus on building a solid foundation in your career, taking on roles that require leadership, responsibility and long-term planning. This is a time for establishing credibility and preparing for future stability. Relationships. Develop deep, stable relationships based on mutual support and understanding. Use your experiences to guide and mentor others, creating a lasting impact in your community or family. Self-actualization. Engage in practices that promote inner strength, such as meditation, yoga or personal development courses. Use this time to reflect on your life's journey and prepare for the next phase with wisdom and resilience. Mercury Mahadasha, ages 35 to 52. Key themes. Communication, learning, adaptability and intellectual growth. Mercury Mahadasha is a time of intellectual exploration, communication and skill development. It encourages adaptability, learning and the refinement of one's ideas and skills. This period often brings opportunities for professional growth, networking and personal development. Traits of Mercury Positive Traits Mercury represents intelligence, communication and adaptability. 
It enhances analytical abilities, creativity and social skills, helping individuals excel in fields related to writing, teaching, business or technology. Negative Traits The quick and restless nature of Mercury can lead to superficiality, inconsistency or over-analysis. There is a risk of becoming scattered, losing focus or struggling to make decisions due to an overactive mind. Positive Impacts to Embrace 1. Pursuit of knowledge and skill development. This is an ideal time to develop new skills, engage in further education, or explore new areas of interest. The native may find success in fields that require intellectual agility and effective communication. 2. Enhanced communication and social connections. Mercury Mahadasha enhances social and communication skills. The native may build strong networks, develop influential relationships, and succeed in roles that involve negotiation, teaching, or public speaking. 3. Career advancement and versatility. This period is favorable for career advancement, particularly in roles that require versatility and adaptability. The native may thrive in dynamic environments, embracing change and seizing new opportunities. Negative impacts to be aware of. 1. Avoiding overthinking and anxiety. The native may become prone to overthinking, anxiety or indecisiveness. It's essential to practice mindfulness and stay grounded, avoiding analysis paralysis or excessive worry. 2. Balancing depth and breadth of learning. While Mercury encourages curiosity and exploration, there is a risk of becoming scattered or superficial. The native should strive to balance the breadth of learning with depth, focusing on mastery as well as exploration. 3. Managing inconsistency and distraction. The native may struggle with maintaining consistency or following through on commitments. It's important to set clear goals, establish routines and avoid distractions that could derail progress. Focus areas for growth and learning. Career. Engage in roles that require communication, adaptability and intellectual growth. Fields such as education, business, media or technology can provide opportunities for advancement and fulfilment. Relationships. Build strong, supportive relationships that foster intellectual and emotional growth. Use your communication skills to resolve conflicts, strengthen connections and inspire others. Self-actualization. Explore new hobbies, courses or personal development activities that enhance your skills and broaden your horizons. This is a time for discovering new passions and refining your talents. Ketu Mahadasha, ages 52 to 59. Ketu Mahadasha is a period of spiritual introspection, detachment from material concerns and a quest for deeper understanding. It often brings a focus on inner growth, healing and the release of old patterns or attachments. Positive traits, Ketu represents spirituality, insight and detachment. It encourages introspection, inner healing and a focus on spiritual growth. The native may develop a deeper understanding of themselves and their purpose during this period. Negative traits. K2's influence can sometimes lead to confusion, isolation or a sense of disconnection. There is a risk of feeling lost, misunderstood or struggling to find purpose in everyday activities. Positive impacts to embrace. 1. Spiritual and personal transformation. This is a time for deep spiritual exploration and personal transformation. The native may engage in meditation, therapy or spiritual practices that promote healing and self-understanding. 2. Detachment and clarity. Ketu Mahadasha encourages detachment from material concerns, allowing the native to see things more clearly and focus on what truly matters. This period can bring profound insights and a sense of inner peace. 3. Release of old patterns and healing. The native may feel compelled to release old habits, relationships or beliefs that no longer serve them. This is a time for healing past wounds and embracing a more authentic way of being. Negative impacts to be aware of. 1. Avoiding isolation and withdrawal. The native may struggle with feelings of isolation or disconnection. It's important to maintain supportive relationships and seek guidance when needed, avoiding excessive withdrawal or escapism. 2. Balancing spiritual and practical life. While K2 promotes spiritual growth, the native must also attend to practical responsibilities. Finding a balance between inner exploration and external duties is crucial. 3. Overcoming confusion and doubt. K2's energy can sometimes lead to confusion or doubt about one's path. 
The natives should trust their intuition and seek clarity through spiritual practices, avoiding impulsive decisions or drastic changes. Focus areas for growth and learning. Career. Focus on roles that allow for creativity, introspection, or service to others. Engage in fields that resonate with your spiritual or philosophical values, such as counseling, healing, or teaching. Relationships. Cultivate relationships that support your spiritual growth and inner journey. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals who encourage and inspire you. Self-actualization. Engage in spiritual practices, personal development, or creative pursuits that promote healing and self-discovery. Use this time to connect with your deeper self and embrace your true nature. Conclusion Understanding the unique energies and lessons of each Mahadasha period helps individuals born under Jupiter-ruled nakshatras navigate their prime years with greater awareness and purpose. From the disciplined and challenging lessons of Saturn Mahadasha to the intellectual growth and adaptability fostered by Mercury, and finally to the introspective and transformative energy of Ketu, each period offers opportunities for profound personal and spiritual development. By embracing the positive traits and being mindful of the potential pitfalls of each Mahadasha, individuals can harness these powerful energies to achieve personal growth, deepen their understanding of life's purpose, and contribute positively to their communities. This journey through the Mahadasha cycles ultimately leads to a more fulfilled, enlightened and purposeful life.